Ain't no YouTube. Joy brings it back again. Callie coming at you again. Another video, two in one day. My goodness gracious. I got the time, guys, on this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous late Sunday afternoon here on the West Coast, the best coast, the way I like to do it, man. Hey, I just showed a video talking football cards. And of course, man, my passion, my number one PC is vintage baseball. So I wa wanted to show you guys a mail day that I have that I just got in. It's gonna be interesting. There might be a guy or two who, who maybe have never seen these cards before. That's what I shoot for. You know, I wanna show you guys what I got, what I like to collect and, you know, have some fun along the way, man. Pass along the passion, guys. It's Joey Brings It. We're talking cards. West Coast Cali, here we go. So those of you who may not have seen my previous video, check it out, man. I showed off my 65 tops football tall boys with the autographs. PSA, DNA, Red Flip, Lighthouse Holder. Check out these cards, man. If you're interested in vintage football, vintage forever, check out that previous video, man. But hey, this is all about a one package mail day right here, guys. I sliced it open. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Kind of hard to do it here with one hand, but I'll get through it. Here it is. Two cards to add to my collection. First one up. Check this one out, guys. We're talking 1953 to 55 doorman. Look at these cards, man. Gil McDougald, New York Yankees legend. He played everywhere on the infield, man. He was on all the World Series teams. Look at that pose, Yankee Stadium in the background. I love it, man. These are the cards that I love to collect. It's the size, it's the era. Let's compare the size here to maybe the tall boy, a little bit bigger, but it will fit in the tall boy container. I'll show you guys in a minute. Like I said, guys, it's the way that I love to collect. Um, not very expensive, not at all. I was able to bundle up this one and another one to save on shipping. This is a cool little set, man. It shows, of course, the two most favorite teams of all times of the 50s. We're talking New York Yankees and the Brooklyn Dodgers. This time, I got the Yankees, guys. Check this one out. 53 to 55 Dortmund. Ali Reynolds, the big chief. Man, check out that pose. This guy was badass. He was, he meant business. Look at that pose, man. I love it. Ali Reynolds, look at that glove. Hey, man, look at the way they used to wear their stockings. Man, that's how baseball players wear stockings, man. I remember when I was in freaking Little League and uh, Babe Ruth, <laughs> hey, tell me if you guys remember this. We used to put, let me kind of, maybe with uh, with the pen, right here at the bottom of the stirrup there, we used to put a white elastic on the bottom that went under your heel so we could pull up these stirrups all the way up as high as they could go because what we didn't like back in the 80s was we didn't like to show all the all of the stocking. So we only wanted to show the stirrup part. Do you guys remember that? And then when we got to high school, they actually even made the stirrups without this part. They made them only with that strip. It was an even strip about an inch and a half that went straight up with no stocking. Man, talking about messing up the game. I don't know why we were all into that. But I, like a dummy, follow the crowd like everyone else. But nowadays, that's the way you wear baseball stockings. All right, guys. Enough rambling. Two pretty cool cards. Like I said, a little bit oversized. Very, very affordable. A great way to collect. I want to show you what else I have in this series. Check out this one. I got this one already. PSA slab we're talking the gill hodges look at that yankee stadium in the background 
This is an awesome card. I got this a long time ago. Check that one out, man. In a PSA Mint 9. Damn. Probably wouldn't be able to get that right now. Um, you know, the prices are a little <laughs> exaggerated now. But it's the same card. These cards, I'm going to really debate whether or not, because these ones are a little bit less valuable, whether or not I'm going to get them into the PSA uh, holder. But I just love to have all of my collection uniform, looking the same in the same holders. It's just part of the way I collect, man. So I got that Gil Hodges, Brooklyn Dodgers legend, future Hall of Famer. Mark my words, he deserves it. Nobody else deserves it more than Gil Hodges. He was a great guy, a great man and a great player, great ball player. I got this one right here, guys. Like I said, this set was only Dodgers and Yankees. This is Mr. Carl Ferrillo. This one's a little bit different, guys. The same two teams posing, Yankee Stadium in the background, but this one's the way I like to collect, guys. Autographed. This was in the SGC holder. I'm gonna crack that out. Two seconds flat and get that into the PSA Red Flip Lighthouse holder so it could be uniform with the rest of my collection. Absolutely awesome, man. I love these poses back in the day. Um, if you guys are into poses and photography, you guys gotta check out videos by my brother, Alex Bowman 53. He could probably you know, figure out when these were photographed, everything that went with it. He's, he's doing the research on a lot of that stuff. And finally, what collection of New York Yankees and the Brooklyn Dodgers would be complete without number seven, the Mick? 53 to 55 doorman. PSA X Mint 6. Very nice. I mean, it looks beautiful, man. We're talking 1950s, guys. Absolutely gorgeous cards. The way I like to collect, I'll slide this over a little bit here so I can show you all in the frame. Man, these are my two new additions to this little set. Gil McDougald, Ali Reynolds, the big chief, and the ones I already had in my PC. Notice the difference in the length of these two slabs. This one's a little bit thinner, a little bit longer. But like I said, it's gonna go into the PSA Red Flip Lighthouse Holder because I like to have my collection uniform and I like it to be more valuable. Have more value, more worth. Look at that Mickey Mantle. Look at those cleats, man, I love it. The way cleats were back in the day with the leather, what are those called? The tongues flapped over with the leather. I love it, man. I think who else had, let me see. He had little flaps. Little flaps, little flaps. He had also little, little flaps, man. The Mick though, man, the Mick had bigger flaps. It looks like bigger, longer, thicker flaps. Hey man, but he was the Mick, man, legend. I love these cards. Check them out, man, they're not expensive. You can get these raw, look them up on eBay. Put in the search, 53 to 55 Dormand. If you love the Dodgers, if you love the uh, Yankees, these two cards, not very expensive at all, man. These, I don't remember exactly, maybe in the 10 to $15 range, not expensive at all when you get them raw. Gorgeous, man. The way I love to collect, maybe one or two of you have never seen these type cards. Wanted to show them off. Tell me what you think. Which one is your favorite? Man. I love that Allie Reynolds right there. Out of these cards, it's the pose, man. It's like, you want some? Let's go. Let's go. The big chief, man. All right, guys. Everybody have a great week. We'll be talking soon. We'll be showing more cards the way we like to do it here on YouTube. Little reminder, guys, the way I said on my previous video, go to Facebook. Join the YouTube sports card collecting community. All of your favorite YouTube personalities will be there. Um, you're going to have great collections, great collectas, Hall of Famas, everything you could ever imagine. It's going to be on this channel, man. 
Garrett Card Cutters putting this together. It's going to be epic, man. Join it if you have not on Facebook. All right, guys. Everybody be good. Joey brings it. West Coast. See you guys.